In this video, we will discuss how to print a diamond using nested loops. Here is an example of a diamond. And then, ang size niya is 3. Meron na tayong input part sa taas. So, meron na rin tayong validation. Kung saan, greater than 1 lang dapat yung size para makapag-print ang diamond. Or else, sasabihin natin na dapat ang size greater than 1. Maraming ways para makapag-print ng diamond. Pero ang ginawa nating way is yung pinaka-common. Ang logic dito is i-assume natin na ang diamond na gagawin natin ay dalawang triangle, which is dalawang triangle naman talaga. Ito yung upper part na triangle, ito yung lower part na triangle. So itong unang loop natin is for printing the upper part of the triangle. So assume natin na ang size is equal to 3. And then gagawin niya si upper part 3 times. Ayan, 1, 2, 3. So, yun yung uh, loop na to. Meron siyang dalawang child loop. Yung una is for printing the spaces. Ito. And then, pangalawa is for printing the asterisk. So, sa spaces, ang condition niya lang is size minus counter. Ang size minus counter, ginagamit natin para ma-derive kung ilang beses niyang ipiprint yung spaces. So, let's say size is equal to 3. And then, counter is equal to 1. Ayong counter doon. So, counter is equal to 1. So, ang gagawin niya, ipiprint niya ng ilang beses si space. Dalawang beses. So, 1 and 2. And then, tapos na yung loop. Hindi naman tayo nag-backslash n, kaya hindi siya bababa. So, meron pa tayong isa pang child loop. Ito naman, child loop na to, ang formula niya is 2 multiplied by counter minus 1 so, ano ang 2 multiplied by counter minus 1? 2 multiplied by counter is 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So, magpiprint daw siya ng asterisk ng isang beses. So, ayun, nagprint siya ng isang beses. And then, after niyang gawin itong dalawang child loop, backslash n, so bababa siya dito. And then, mag-increment, counter plus plus. Kung si counter naman ay magiging 2 na, so ang size minus counter is 2 minus 1, Ibig sabihin, 1 times lang siya magpiprint ng space. And then sa ilalim naman, 2 multiplied by counter minus 1. So si counter natin ay equals na kay 2. So 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. So ibig sabihin, 3 times siya magpiprint ng asterisk. So ganun lang siya, magpapaikot-ikot lang siya hang ng tatlong beses hanggang sa magawa niya to. So that's the logic for the upper part of the diamond. The same goes for the lower part of the diamond. Pero, decrement lang yung approach. Nag minus 1 tayo dito sa counter is equal to minus 1 because hindi na natin ipiprint pa tong part na to. Kasi kapag pinrint pa natin yung part na yan, ang magiging itsura ng diamond ay ganun na lang. So, nag minus 1 tayo, ibig sabihin, twice nyo na lang gagawin. Ito lang siya. Yung una natin, 3 times, kasi hindi man tayo nag minus 1 doon, kaya ganun. So, that's how this code works. Let's try an output. Let's input 3. So, yun. May diamond. Ito yung for the upper part. Ito yung for lower part na kung saan nag minus 1 tayo. Let's try number 6. So, ganun pa din. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Kasi nga, nag minus 1 tayo. So, meron tayong upper triangle and lower triangle. Sa kabuuan, meron tayong diamond. Diamond. 